Oh, ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow League of Legends enjoyers, enthusiasts, lovers, haters, everything in between. Welcome back to another reaction. Finally, we have been given another dev update by the wonderful, glorious people working on this amazing game, League of Legends. So, I know I'm a little late, as always, to the party. I have a lot of stuff to react to today, and this is first up on the chopping block. Uh, I'm very excited to see some more stuff that's changing. Hopefully, they fix ADC, as always. Uh, I see in the title here, we have Arena, we have Lee Sin, and we have PvE mode first look. So, I'm very, very excited about that. I am a big PvE player, despite all of my games, or most of my games, being multiplayer which you can see me play at Twitch TV slash Technics channel live, I actually am a very big purveyor of PvE. I actually prefer it most of the time to PvP, but PvP is where most of the money is centered and where most of the rewards are given out, regardless of what game it is. So, I'm very excited that PvE is coming back to uh, League, and this might be in response to what happened with the phone game Wild Rift. So recently, what ended up happening with Wild Rift was... They got their whole Ruination event that's actually a lot better than what we got on the PC client. And they actually have a PvE mode. So it would kind of seem unfair and like obvious favoritism, which it is, to only give it to the mobile version. Meanwhile, the mobile version gets better skins, get gets better everything pretty much. But uh, we, we're just going to ignore everything else. So the mobile version got that. So people were probably going to blow a gasket on the PC side, but they came in here to save the day and tell us about that. Arena is hopefully coming back. This is where I honestly think Arena might be League's next permanent mode, because it's just that good. I know myself and multiple other people personally would love Arena to be back, and we actually played it more than regular Rift. Right now, your main options are, okay, do you want to play Summoner's Rift, which is sweaty, which is long, which is way too competitive, and with people who are way too trash to be that competitive, or would you rather play ARAM, where there's not much up for debate let's say where you really are to the whim of whatever champion you can muster and the people are very casual there i feel like arena could be a very good middle ground you want to have the quick kind of chill gameplay of arena or not arena what am i saying of aram but you don't want to have it be as long or as serious as summoner's rift so i really do feel like arena is a good middle ground and i could possibly see it being permanent now the last thing they're saying, which I specifically left for last, for those of you who know, you know, it's Lee Sin. I fucking hate Lee Sin. I don't know why they're giving him an ASU. I think other people could use the ASU a lot more, but uh, that's just me. And I just hate Lee Sin as a character. I hate his kit, even though it's fun, even though people use him. I think it's terrible. I hate it. He's early game focused. He basically defaults to just a kick. I just hate the whole fucking champion, everything about him, so... I'm very sad that him, instead of other champions like Kog'Ma, are getting touched. Granted, it's only visual. Meanwhile, he's still getting skins. He's getting, like, what? His, um, what is it, second or third legendary now? Or he got that recently? So, obvious favoritism towards Lee Sin, but it makes sense because he sells. Similar to Azrael and Lux. So, without further ado, without me yapping on, let's see what the actual people with the actual information have to say about all this. Hey folks, I'm oh. Andre, also known as Medler. Oh, Medler. Right, I we're thought one of them was going to get axed at some point. With the oh, real the Andre this time. Whoa. Today is Tuesday, March 26th. So as usual, so this everything that happens after today won't be covered in this video. Uh -huh. Today we'll be joined by the modes team to talk yes. a bit about Arena yes. and an upcoming mode that we've... And also, I forgot to say in the beginning, but they keep saying occasionally. Now, I don't know if, there's, if this is going to be another fill but not support situation where they say it and they never add it in, or they never talk about it, they just sweep it under the rug. Same thing with uh, map skins, same thing with uh, voice announcers. All that stuff never came true. At least as of yet, as of this recording, which is... What, what the fuck date is it? Uh, April 10th. As of April 10th, a lot of stuff has still not come to fruition. But one of the things that they keep saying was in 2025... League of Legends, not the MMO, which is delayed till God knows when. Not the fighting game, which is 2KO, 2XKO, whatever the fuck it's called. League of Legends, hopefully not 
mobile, I really hope not, is going to be basically like radicalized. I don't know how else to say. Like 2025 is the year of league. We're going to see some insano stuff. Now what that is, I have no clue. But they are hyping up 2025 like fucking crazy. So let's see if they talk about that at all. We've teased a little bit about earlier this year. Then we'll talk about the updated champion mastery system mm. and Lee Sin's visual update. So the Skarner thing kind of gets a pass because it was like due to a technological problem that uh that Skarner didn't come out. Not really because they took for you know a long time on this kit. The main issue I have is Riot seems to take a lot. Uh, you know, this is just for League mostly. Riot seems to take a long ass time to come out with some of the most basic, basic things, right? So let me just rewind this real quick. Here's it for this year. Then we'll talk about the update. So the updated champion mastery system. They mentioned this at the start of the fucking year, right? At the start of the new season here. We're in month four. We're a third of the way through the fucking year. Where the fuck is the system? I don't get it. They revealed it. It seems like they ironed out most of the kinks. And I'm thinking, okay, this is a new way to get chests. You know, I'm still a little confused by it. I need to get it in my hands to really grasp it. But where the fuck is it? Champion mastery system and Lee Sin's visual update. Here's Eduardo and Selena to talk about modes. Let's see. Hey, I feel like as years have gone on, less and less has been released, and it's taken longer and longer to be released. Now, granted, I'm ignoring the third factor here of things have gotten way, way up in quality. I won't deny that. But even with the upping in quality, Riot is Riot. They have money, they have people, they have resources. Now, granted, the more big you become, the more checks and balances you have to have, sure. But it's like... I just feel like things have gotten slower and we've gotten less and less stuff. It's more streamlined, but it's more corporate. I, I always use that word. It's more corporate, and I don't like that. Everyone, I'm Eduardo Cadmus. Eduardo, team lead for modes on League. Oh. Hi, I'm Selena Choo Choo Train Leo. Choo Choo Train. I love Choo Choo Train. Give you a little update on Arena. I better not be little. In this most recent run, it was pretty successful. Oh, it was massively we did successful. We see play hours decrease quite a bit over the course of its run. As is usual. We're making some improvements this time to try to give it a little bit of extra variety and longevity, and giving it a longer run as a result. To so they're going to keep it for longer. This is the main thing I, I think with Arena. I think Arena is good. I think it will have a core player base. Obviously, nothing's going to dethrone Summoner's Rift, but Aram and. Summoner's Rift are basically main staples, you know, R.I.P. Twisted Tree Line. But um, I think that there could be enough of a player base carved out for Arena if they just add way more variety and rotating stuff. Like, I mean, obviously, they're going to have to have a whole new balance team for Arena, even though I think it should remain um, very casual and unbalanced as possible, as, as allowable. But that's a conversation for a whole other day that I've talked about. But as long as they don't overly police and overly balance it, and they keep it fresh with, like, new augments every, let's just say, like, month or so, I think it'll be perfect. Like, it could be the next TFT. I honestly believe that. I believe this shit could be the next TFT because it's short form. It's shorter than Summoner's Rift. It's more chilled, more casual, more fun. I think it's just superior, honestly. Unless you're very, very competitive, which even then, they could do a competitive version of this, no problem. I think Arena is, like, they, they actually struck gold. I was so skeptical uh, skeptical before it came out, but I feel like I've been converted. Like, that shit is just actually really fucking good. Granted, some things definitely become meta, and it's really hard to change that unless they change the augments. So, that's that. See how interest holds up over a longer period of time. It became too stale. Our goal with Arena None of variety. is to be a great mode to play when you're looking to experiment with crazy build yes, ideas. Yes, perfect. You just love like to a roguelike. More yes, situations. A we like that. For dreamers and the memers. Yes. So, in order to do that, when Arena is back on PBE, you'll be seeing some changes that the team has been working on for a while. Oh. First, the lobby is going to increase to 16 players. Huge we ass change. Each game of Arena to be a little different from the last. Thank God. Still yes. Competitive. Oh. So increasing the amount of teams means that Excuse you shouldn't me. be able to see the same pairs of champions over and over again. Thank God, because one of the other issues which they just touched on, which I forgot, was if you got steamrolled by a team, most likely you're probably going to face them either in the next round or the round after that. And it's like, okay, I barely have any time to collect myself, change my build, figure out what to do before they slap me over the willy again. One of the other changes the team has been working on is a substantial update to the item system. Oh. This version of Arena has a new, unique class of items, Prismatic. Prismatic items are build of They're copying TFT again. Finding it. That's fine. In a way that should shape future build decisions oh, during God. a match of Arena. 
Oh god, this sounds like the mythic system from Rift. It honestly does. Because the mythic system, they're like, oh yeah, we want this to be the first item. It defines your build, your playstyle. It's going to augment all your future items with bonus stats to the main item. It's going to define how you play. Yeah, let's see. For example, the Demon King's Crown oh. increases your basic stats by a lot. But in no passive. But here's the fun part. It no increases passive. each round you win. Oh. If you lose a round, you actually lose more than you gain. Oh, shit. So make sure you become pretty unkillable. Damn, so you snowball. The way snowball. in which you also get items has been changed. You'll no oh. longer only purchase items from the shop. Wait, what? Now you can actually gamble using anvils to huh? purchase some items at a lower cost. Huh? Just a little bit less reliably. What the? We're still experimenting with... See, this is cool. I like this. This is good. What the fuck? Man, they, I, I was so happy. I was so happy when Arena came out because I was like, this is already good at its base form. And Riot does the same thing that Hoyo does. It can't be a Chris Allen video without mentioning Genshin or Star Rail. Um, the same thing that Hoyo does, which is they take something, they send it out. They, you know, people do it. They get it back and then they refine it. I really, really like that. Arena's next form. Our hope is that you'll tell us how this goes and how we can continue to grow arena into something that you're really excited to yes. be part of league moving forward. Yes. You can read a lot more. When they about say that it makes arena it sound like it's permanent. And the changes in a dev blog coming out next week. Okay, cool. All right. It's not out yet. So now, I'm not that late. Onto something <laughs> we touched upon back in January. Oh, PV. PV. That we were cooking up another new game. Room. Yes. And we wanted to tell you all a little bit more about it today. Permanent? We mentioned There's no way it's that permanent. we were making something that would be a little different take on League's core gameplay. I really really hope, right? I really really hope whatever they come out with, it counts towards the passes. If that is the case, I will probably get so big of an erection, it will bust through my roof and I'm going to have to redo the wiring. But a bit more chill comparing to Arena. Well, after months of work, it's time to let you all know that we are currently working on our first Bullet Heaven Survivor PvE game. Mode. Bullet Heaven? I thought it was called Bullet Hell. In this mode, what? you're able to fight against hordes of enemies by yourself or with friends. Ooh, so whether you're looking for roguelike. All they have to do is do roguelike. Roguelike just makes single player experiences or like PvE experiences, in my opinion, so much better. Either roguelike or RPG elements. Add those two and you you're just good. want to have some fun with friends. Make leveling systems, make upgrade, anything. Anything along those lines, you're good. We want this to be something everyone can enjoy. Casuals. I know a lot of us, myself included, have oh. some pretty fond memories of previous PvE modes. like Odyssey, Odyssey or Star, Star Guardian. Guardian. Those were really time, good, we honestly. They really were. The one, I think it was Odyssey. I think that one came out after and actually had like all the cool abilities that augmented your base stuff. Like they had like Yasuo augments, Ziggs augments, where it's like, you started going crazy. Like, I think one of them, Yasuo, did, like, a triple tornado or some shit. Or every time he knocks him up, he ulted. I don't remember fully, but... Like, it's actually crazy how cool it was. If Overwatch did half of that, they would have been good, too, with their PvE. But they couldn't even do a quarter of it. They can do none of it, because it's cancelled. Markedly different. <laughs> and while we aren't quite ready to show you much yet... God damn it! can give you a little bit of an what idea the what fuck this is looks that? like. Ew, are those Nefiris? Wait... It's super minions, caddy minions, and the furies, and then what is that? Is that bard meeps? What the fuck? Early in development. What oh. the hell? And then there's Z wait, was those Zed shadows? Wait a minute. Much yet. Wait a minute. Can give you. A yeah, that was Zed shadows. What the fuck? A little bit Bullet hell is so weird. Like oh god. Oh. It's literally just like a zoomed in patch of like someone's rift. I think. We mentioned it'll be coming out alongside our upcoming mid year event. Oh this thank year. god! Yes. There's periods of time in League where it's so slow, it's so, like, empty, but there's other times where they just fucking shove everything up our asses. Well, that's it for modes for now. Wow, We hope you'll for enjoy now. the return of Arena, and we'll be back to share more news about our upcoming Bullet Heaven Survivor game mode. Bullet in a future Heaven. Update. I wonder what they're calling a Bullet Heaven. Does that have to do with any of the skin lines? Because I know there's Bullet Angel. There's Bullet Angel, I think, Kaisa, and I think uh, the Ultimate MF skin, which isn't too much of an ultimate but more of an ultimate than the samira skin i think is in that universe thanks for playing and we'll see you all in arena in january we shared that we're updating the champion mastery system okay when we announced it, it never there was came some back. feedback from you all regarding the changes okay i heard aram players were getting fucked and as a new sort of aram player more consistent aram player now because i guess i'm more casual even though i'm still uh, emerald um that's a little concerning, because I like getting my cosmetics, even though I'm never going to open up my chests. And one area of feedback was that it felt bad to grind for titles and then lose them the next split. Well, no fucking duh. And we agree. 
Yeah. So we've made the champion specific titles permanent. Okay, thank God. We're also changing the way you gain mastery points. Oh. Currently, your mastery score is impacted by your team's performance overall. Huh? But with this update, it'll only account for your own performance instead of factoring in your team's overall average. Wait, when they say mastery points, do they mean your level or your champion's mastery? We're also changing how what? much wins and losses are weighed. So even if you lose your game, you'll still progress your champion mastery. From okay, it's champion today. mastery. We're wow. We're to launch the system. Wait, that's the crazy. Just mentioned on patch 14.10 on May 15th. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, it's cool. It's also been a bit since we talked about Lee Sin. Please don't talk about him at all. This is the one thing I want them to delay. So we wanted... And it's weird, right? They're giving Lee Sin, and obviously they could just go the route they've always been going. If the champion gets a new skin, just barely change the new skin. Just have the new skin be in line with the, the new champion model, right? Which is pretty easy to do if they do it retroactively. Or if they do it beforehand, rather. So it's like, it's not going to be too much of an issue. But it's like, why make the, the job harder for yourselves? Like, do they really want money that bad? They got to sell another Lee Sin skin and then change it immediately. Granted, not that much, but still. I wanted to give you a little update Holy on shit. how this visual overhaul is going. No one cares. As one of I our don't... older and most iconic champions, Lee Sin needed a lot of work to meet our modern art and tech standards, while maintaining the feel that his mains have learned. I'm going to be honest, aside from this skin here, which I think is called traditional, like, there's not much of a difference. Like, yeah, it's, it's slightly better, sure. Yeah, but not much and come to love over like most of this you won't even see unless they redo the animations which obviously they are i'm pretty sure but yes. this includes things like rebuilding his model from the ground up oh. making his appearance more consistent across all of his skins i already thought it was kind of consistent adding new fluid animations and updated okay that's effects. the important part the animations and, and stuff and oh, oh, oh freak be able to hear quite a few new sound effects we also took this opportunity to he said sorry. some issues players have noted over the years. Dude, I love when they're not fully corporate. Like, Overwatch has been trying to do this, and I'm ironically enough going to react to something Overwatch related next, but Overwatch is trying to do this, I think, in a way to try and, like, show they're not soulless robots at the beck and call of Bobby Kotick. So they're trying to, like, incorporate actual realism into their, like, dev update videos. And sometimes it lands, sometimes it doesn't, but I actually like when they try. Like, at least they're trying to be human, which is good. Yes. With a keen eye on improving gameplay clarity, we made some bigger changes to how his abilities look. Oh, really? And some skins like Storm Dragon Lee Sin. Yeah, that was a big issue for some reason. Reducing the noisiness of his visual effects. Isn't the noisiness part of it? I don't get and it. And bring the skins design. The one on the left looks worse. Unless that's the original one. The one on the right might be the new more one. More online with his base skin. If you want to learn more details about the process, Check out the dev vlog that's out now. I don't think I You can want expect to. to see Lee Sin's visual update to be released with patch 14.9 on May 1st. Hey, Harold and in May. Maybe even tiny update on TV. Oh, oh. We're targeting his update to be ready later this year with patch 14.20. All right, we wanted to give you a quick okay. update on how we're handling ranked rewards. Oh. We have three ranked splits per year. So I heard about this already. I heard people are fucking pissed at this. What has ended up happening, not only with the passes, but now with the ranked rewards too, is that they say they want to do better by us, and then they just give us less and less and less as time goes on. Which is, like, actually crazy. Similar to last year, we plan on having a unique Victoria skin per ranked split. Which is good. And I heard the new one is Kog'Maw, and it's fucking ugly as shit. And, since the first split is ending in a few weeks, we wanted to let you know that Cogmore would be receiving like, the first look at that. Risk. That looks ugly. It looks like Atlantean deep sea Cogmaw. Like, this shit looks disgusting. And they didn't want to fucking give Cogmaw the fucking VGU. They gave it to stupid ass, what's its face? Uh, Skarner. Which, by the way, landed terribly. It's gonna be, yeah. Terribly. The split too. Like, it's so bad. It's so, it's so, like, not good. In terms of visuals, it's great. Visuals, you know. Excuse me. Audio escape. Game, gameplay wise, he is just garbage. The reward will be Victoria Sona. What now, if the? You unlock the Victoria skins for all three splits. Oh. You will also receive a victorious border for each of the skins at the end of the year that will display your Wait, highest. Wait, they only said Kogma and Sona. Who's That's the last one? As a reminder, please do check out the dev vlogs to learn okay. more about some of the things we discussed. I definitely will try. Also, before the next dev update, the Imperian themed MSI event will have started in beautiful Chengdu, China. So do. make sure you tune in to see which team punches their ticket to Worlds, oh. and who earns an additional seed for their region. Wow, esports so never returned. makes the money. So check that out with the changes the team mentioned earlier. All right, I will. Before we wrap, I'd also like to say a few nice things to Jeremy here. Many thanks for all the work on League. Oh, so this is his last one. Appreciated. 
Hope you have a wonderful time on sabbatical. Oh, I'm sabbatical. Really excited to see what you jump onto when you get back to Riot afterwards. Oh, okay, okay. Thank I thought he was everybody. done. Thank you, everyone. It's okay. been an honor. I thought one of them was and leaving. We'll I guess I was wrong. Thank all you right. all. Yeah, see you soon. Whoopty, whoopty diddly do. Right, so let me check the um, the things here. So Leeson's ASU, we'll look at that real quick. Ranked rewards, we'll definitely look at that. And then a condensed version of the video. <laughs> I guess we'll check that out too. Why not? All right. So Leeson. Uh, let's see. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, that, what, what the fuck skin is that? What the hell? Okay, that's obviously pool party. So they really want to keep his hair. <laughs> Ironic. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're just trying to make it very consistent among each one. Nice, nice. Very cool. Uh, showing off. Oh, what the fuck? Ew. Ew. That is nasty. Yeah, his new model looks a little bit better. Still a little creepy, but a little bit better. Oh, yeah, the one on the right looks more man like. It, it's weird. It looks like he lost a lot of muscle definition. Like, he looks smaller. He looks more well defined, but definitely looks smaller. He's been uh, cutting, not bulking. Yeah, so they really want to keep the theme of the uh, little ponytail, which is interesting. Uh, oh my god, he's fucking naked. What the fuck was that? Damn, he's swole as shit, though. Okay, I don't care. Uh, oh, ew! Ew! Oh, that's Nightbringer, Lisa. Okay, that looks kind of crazy. Wow. Okay, the new rig. So they made new animations for him. Nice. He could be a karate kung fu man. And now he's flat. Oh, god, yeah, this stretching shit is insane. Holy fuck. That's something they introduced with, with I think, Udyr, like, more prominently. That stretching shit is insane. Like, the thing on the left does not look right what his armor is doing. And... You can definitely see he stretches really cartoonishly far, but... And then they want his ponytail to be crazy as shit. Oh my lord, what the fuck? That ponytail is probably so crazy. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously it looks better. Yeah, so that's Lee Sin. Cool. Damn, this shit is so long. What the fuck? Yo, they love Lee Sin. Oh yeah, that's way more noticeable and way more in line with, like, modern day. Oh, thank goodness. More dragon theme too, it kind of looks like. Which that's all he is. Oh shit, okay. Ooh. Punching a little girl. Alright, soccer Leeson too, wow. And that skin, that's the problem. Okay, cool. I don't care. Uh, nice. I wish they gave any amount of this love to an ADC, but they'll only give it to. Look, it's, it's still going! Holy fuck! Alright, enough with that. Alright, ranked rewards. So. Uh, let me give a quick skim over this and give my opinions. Uh, da, 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 da. So they gave out Trindamir, which took a while, but we got that. And Anivia. So rewarding journey. Okay. Uh, we also replaced X to Key if I just the rewards. Da, da, da. So this is the big thing people had issue with. We needed to pull back a little in some places so we could plus them up in others. And people do not feel like that. So, these are the stuff you're getting. Very cool, very cool. And look, nearly like, a, not even a quarter of the size of the Lee Sin article. Fucking sad, but okay. I'm not reading all this. And then the TLDR. Uh, we just went over all this, so I'm not going to go over this. Cool. Realistically, not that long. And I made this video mad long over such little information. But anyway, so that's going to be about it. Um, Not bad. I mean, I'm very curious to see what's going to happen mid-year. It seems like that's when everything's really, really going down. So that's exciting. Other than that, I'm really looking forward to Arena again. Anything to not play Summoner's Rift, because that is Misery Incarnate. And uh, aside from that, not looking forward to Lee Sin, but everything else is looking A-OK, -okay, looking pretty cool. But anyway, that's going to be the roundup. I think things are I I think they're looking somewhat up for the future. Again, 2025, they said it. It's going to be the year of League of Legends. Maybe that's the year we get Phil but not support. It's the year we get map skins and voice announcer packs. Who knows? By the way, that's going to be it for me. I hope everyone enjoyed. Watch me at Twitch TV slash Technics channel. Eee!